Alright, what is up guys, um, this is Permagin here, and um, today I'm going to do some AC3 gameplay. And along with that, um, I'll talk about my summer break so far, and after that, what I think about YouTube, YouTube comments such as, like this, like this comment if you're listening to 2013, spamming on other people's channel, or even that, or even that, um, that very, very enthusiastic, um, form of, um, having a spider on your profile screen, which is fucking awesome, by the way, but um, whatever. So first off, let's talk about my um, education, first off, in summer. Um, as you guys may have known already, um, this summer is basically just for makeup classes, so um, that, that's pretty good. But um, right now, I currently have, uh, I currently have, have B, I currently have um, two Bs in, um, in English, so um, I'm trying to raise it to an A, but um, what, I'm trying to aim here, what I'm trying to aim here is that um, I at least pass the class, you know, because I don't like taking summer, to be honest there, but um, the grades I got during freshman year, Showed that I didn't really care, so yeah, that's the reason why. Okay, so after that, um, after, I don't want to brag about it, but I mean, a B is not getting released to me, but um, whatever. I feel like I should, I should get like a high B, you know. But again, I'm not really that. I'm not really that. Um, like I said, I don't really try hard in school, anyways. But sometimes I do. I forgot. Okay, but whatever. Um, anyways, let's talk, let's talk about YouTube comments here. YouTube comments 101. First off, we will talk about channel spamming. Now, what this is, is that this is basically where a user or a group or an individual, which is the same thing as a user, this is where they go on a random video, they copy and paste their very, very... No, man, they, they copy and paste their very, very well done message, and after that, cop they copy and paste it, and they will spam it like shit. They're going to spam it on random videos, they're going to spam it on videos that have no point, they're going to spam it on the weirdest part of YouTube, the most interesting part about YouTube, you know, anywhere you can find about YouTube, they will, there will be a lot of um, channel spammers there, and that's obviously because the main purpose is to get a lot of subscribers and to grow and to, you know, get success at like, and to get successful off of YouTube, but um, what I think about this whole thing is that I think you should be taken as a hobby, you know, because obviously sometimes you feel like you can't do YouTube videos because you're sick or you're going out somewhere, and blah blah. So um, I'd rather stick to people um who actually devote their time, you know, pro I mean, I'd rather stick to um people, you know, just going on channel myself, you know. I feel like if you spam a channel, it's like saying that you would use spam to help you. It's success, which, mo which is what most people do nowadays, but, um, whatever. So my whole opinion is that it should be taken as a hobby and nothing more than that. But for people who have, like, 4,000 subscribers already, and this is, this is, the reason why I noticed this is because, um, sometimes I get curious and sometimes I feel like I want to, um, I want to see their channel. So when I see their channel, all they post is, like, um, good stuff, I guess, but, um, they have too much subscribers, that's what I think about it. I think that they're too greedy, to be honest there, because... If you have 4,000 subscribers and, you, and if you're still starting a channel, then, I mean, is there really a point then, to be honest here? If you're partnered, if you got like 10k subs, and if you're still spamming your channel for more subs, then I feel like it, that's not, that's not how shit go on YouTube, but um, like I said, people will take shortcuts to achieve what they want, and um, I just feel like this is one of the common things that you see on YouTube nowadays, the comment box, ex especially. Next thing I want to talk about is the music videos. Like whenever I listen to the music, I look at the comments because I'm very tempted to, and um, I see comments like, "Like this video, listen this to 2013. Like this video, listen this to 2012." Blah blah. They just put like like this video, and they put like a year. And this wonders why, or this is where I think the term "I I Stone" came from, which is basically a combination of Apple's products names and Stone, as in Cave and Time Films, which means. Um, back then when it was like prehistoric ages and stuff like that, so yeah. What I think about that kind of commotion is that um, I think it should just be, you know, comment on a video, say something good about it or say something bad about it and leave, you know, you, have, you don't have to put like, like or listen to Train 13, you know what I mean? Let's be honest here, it, what's the point of listening to Train 13? That's, that's annoying as, um, I guess Instagram's, Instagram's annoying as pictures.